Well, here we are, Sunday, March 12, 2023. I'm Larissa. I'm drinking some skulls here, huh? Drinking some skulls. And we have a card reading today. So I found my little bag. Oh, I'm so happy to find this. It's a little bit too small to carry all three decks, right? I can't close it. But I can fit them all in there, right? But I just can't close it. I was really happy to find this bag. So I made these bags, a series of these bags, um, out of brocade. They're lined with brocade as well. And this is all, it's all hand stitched. These are all hand, hand stitched, this whole thing. I did a whole bunch of them. How many of these did I make? I made like, hmm, I made like 12 or 15 of them uh, in varying shapes. And these were back in what, 2005, 2006. I made these when I was doing the dragonfly dreams. I had these little s silver dragonflies that I that I was making, and I had some I have some made some dragonfly necklaces, and I had a whole bunch of dragonfly stuff. I was really into the dragonflies. Yeah. And so I got this other little bag in here. This little bag. This is this is a. I made this one too. This is a, an Italian. This is a rare fabric. Yeah, I made this beautiful dress out of this fabric, and I gave it to this woman. I, before I knew what the fabric was, I happened to pick it up in the garment district down in L.A., and they only had a few few yards. It was expensive, too. I mean, it was expensive. Whole, about a wholesale it was expensive. Anyway. Anyway. I got it in red and black. Oh. My little decks of cards. It's my little bags. My bag of tricks. No, I don't. I don't do tricks. No tricks. No treats. Just the way it is. Let's see what the energies say. What are the cards say today? What are the cards say today? I don't know. I want to find out. It's been raining like crazy, and there's been mudslides all over the place. They have roads blocked off. I had to come home early yesterday because roads were blocked off and I didn't want to get stuck. I didn't want to be stuck and not be able to come home. I'd rather be stuck at home than stuck away from home, you know? So, I came home early. Not like anybody buys anything from me anyway. But, got some work done. That was good. Not today, though, right? Not yesterday. Ooh. 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 So, in the center, we have a reverse number three experiencing. Oh, somebody missed out on something. Somebody feels like they missed out. They didn't have the experience they wanted. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. And oh, we got another reverse three here. Um, forces a play that you may not be aware of. Or reverse guidance. Oh, didn't get to have the guidance, huh? There was no guidance. There was no message, huh? You didn't. You didn't. You didn't hear what you wanted to hear. Oh, you had to do it all by yourself. Oh. And forces a play that you're probably aware of. We have a reverse major arcana, reverse trust. Well, that's why. That's why. Because you weren't trusted. Hmm? I don't think it's because you weren't trusting. It's because you weren't trusted. Right? <sighs> Mystic knowledge is only, only uh, revealed to those who are trusted. Yeah. That's the way the energies work. The way the energies work. And you can't lie. You can't lie to the other dimensions. The other other dimensions see all, right? They do. And a uh, course of action. We have an upright major arcana, the flowering card. This is the death card in this deck. This does not necessarily mean a physical death. As a matter of fact, generally it doesn't. It means the ending of a cycle. This represents the cycle. The cycle of life, right? Flowering. Hmm. Moving on. 
And the outcome card, upright number five, is the outsider. Not part of the group. Oh, I know how that goes. That's because you weren't trusted. Mm -hmm. You were not found to be trustworthy. That's, not, that's, that's upsetting. That's too bad. All right, let's see what the angels have to say. That is what it is, you know, it's the way it goes. Right? Well, so in the center, on top of the reversed experiencing, not having the experience that you that, that you were expecting or that you wanted, we have an upright seven of earth. Seeds well planted, a temporary cause and action, unnecessary worry. I don't need to worry about it. Just because it didn't happen this time doesn't mean it won't happen in the future, right? So on the reversed three guidance, Forces of play that you may not be aware of. We have an upright ace of air. Brilliant new ideas and inspiration. Seeing the truth of a situation. A challenging beginning. So we have that flowering card, right? But what you didn't realize is that it's a, it's, it's a, it's a beginning. It's a new beginning. That's the way the cycle always goes, right? One thing ends, another thing begins. And forces of play that you're probably aware of. On reverse trust, we have an upright knight of air. Intelligent, decisive. Idealistic, tireless, events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options. Create solutions. Mm. And course of action on the upright flowering or death, the death card. I like flowering better than death. Death comes off as sounding so harsh, right? People have so much judgment around that word. Anyway, on, on that, we have, an, we have a reverse queen of earth. Thoughtful, creative, warm, sensitive. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with cha uh, challenges in a kind and understanding manner. So, no, you don't need to take time for those around you. Sometimes you just got to take care of you, right? Sometimes you just got to take care of you. And on the outcome, on the upright, on the upright outsider, number five, we have a reversed five of earth. So on the upright five, we have a reversed five as well. So these are mirror images of each other. Um, fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept health from others, uncertain self-employment. Oh, so no, that's not what this is, right? There's no fear around, around money. You feel, you feel, you know, you, you have, you have what you need. And there's no uncertainty around your self-employment. No, there's not. I have my own business. And let's see what the crystals have to say. You're going to turn that down? Okay. Omar's in the kitchen over there. I got breakfast on the stove. We're getting ready. Is it bubbling? Well then, in the center, on top of the reverse three experiencing and the upright seven of earth, seeds well planted, we have an upright number four, divine truth to Christ consciousness. Yes. Being, being led by the spirit, being led by, by personal relationship with, with, with the guru, right? I certainly feel that way right now during the season of Lent and being, being totally immersed in, the, uh, in, in my, my Lenten practice of making art. So, yeah, I can relate to that. And forces of play that you may not be aware of on the reversed guidance and the upright ace of air, we have a reverse 10. Distant healing, healing transmission. Just keeping it to yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've been, I've been, I've been using, um, I mean, I send, I send, I send Reiki in my practice all the time, but when, when, when I send, you know, you send for the, for the highest good to be served, right? And there's no one that, that if the highest self is not open, then Reiki just goes back to source, right? You know, no harm, no foul, right? No harm, no foul. 
and uh, forces of play that you're probably aware of on the reversed trust and the upright knight of air. We have an upright 33, personal power, self-empowerment. Mm. And I like to see this next to the Christ consciousness card, the number four, right? Four Gospels. Um, I see that because number 33 for me is the Jesus number because that's when he was crucified. And and seeing that that personal power next to that Christ consciousness, you know, there's there's self empowerment, you know, going along with your own practice, right? Your own belief, your own you're relying on your own faith, right? Not trusting or um, not trusting or not being trusted by those who maybe are are um, mm, subject to propaganda or coercion, right? And course of action on top of the upright flowering and the reverse queen of earth, we have an upright 12, Master Deva, spiritual support. Amen to that, right? Amen to that. Mm, what a pretty stone. Isn't that pretty? Look at all those beautiful, beautiful inclusions in that stone. And outcome on the upright number five outsider and the reversed five of earth, so that we have the, the mirror fives, we have an upright 23, guardian, family karma. Mm -hmm. So there's a, there, there, there's a protection. And I certainly, you know, during my Lenten practice, um, it, it helps me feel uh, closer and more part of the um, family of, of, of Christ, of Christians, right? Um, but also, more specifically, in, with to, to my, my ancestors, right and ancestors not just being ones far away but family members i've known who have passed on yeah most certainly so this is this is this is a a very special time of year and um wherever you are on your personal journey i hope it is bringing you closer to the center of yourself where where you meet with divine spirit, where your divine spirit meets with the divine of the cosmos. Because that's really what it's about, right? Yeah. That's what I think, anyway. But what do I know? I'm just a stupid woman. Anyway. Have a nice Sunday.